Did you know if you've had medical imaging done recently, you can actually take that data and create a 3D model? This is a knee. It was done from an MRI scan a couple years ago as a personal project for one of the staff that worked here. And really intriguing and really interesting. So having gone through a couple CT scans myself, I was able to extract that data and produce this. This is a kidney. This is my left kidney with all the incredible interior details on this. Really fascinating to look at and really fascinating to, to examine. Uh, but of course at Objects Unlimited, we like to take things to the next level. So we produced this. This is 3D printed in plastic, sanded and bronzed and will be uh, donated as an art piece. Probably the first of many that we're gonna do. So let me show you now how we make this happen. It's actually really just through the magic of software and I, I can't believe it, but the software is, is free. Um, so this is a CT scan, which is essentially a bunch of slices uh, of photographs from different angles. So the, the amazing thing is, like a 3D scan, we can take these photos and turn them into a mesh. Uh, this software offers some really outstanding rendering tools for this kind of thing. So you can actually see the backboard, uh, the, uh, the ribs, this is the heart, uh, kidneys are down here. And we can render this in a bunch of different ways. Uh, with skin on, I mean, there's many different uh, interesting things that we can do uh, with these files from an artistic perspective. But the most important thing is I can export uh, an STL file. So I have done that and uh, typically with CT scans there is a little bit of artifacts. So we open this file in Artex Studio and it looks kind of like this. So lots of small floaters and, and artifacts. A little bit of roughness, um, very common from stitching together a scan. But we have some really nice tools in Artex Studio. The first thing is called Small Objects Filter to get rid of these uh, these floaters. So I will run that right now. It just takes a second and now I have a much cleaner mesh. The other thing that we can do here is use our smoothing tool uh, which is, is also quite handy uh, to get rid of some of this tessellation if I wanted to. Um, and then we export this as a much cleaner STL. I would choose to open this in a different software called 3D Sprint uh, just to do a little bit more modification so it looks kind of like this. This is a raw scan before we did any of the kind of cleanup. Um, so I have a couple bars in here and, uh, and 3D printed it. And uh, holy cow, really quite amazing that this would uh, A, survive printing and B, survive uh, being kicked around my office for a few months. But you can see some of the, the veins in here. This is the left kidney right there. And so from this scan, we are then able to extract that data. You can see it here on the screen. This is just the kidney itself. Um, of course, the scans have accurate measurements, so we're able to get the right measurements. So this is a slightly smooth uh, version of that kidney, and you can actually see all the uh, internal um, features are in here, as you saw in the, uh, in the physical model that we made. Um, when I'm 3D printing this, of course, I want to get rid of some of these features, and I want to smooth things out a little bit. So we modified it a little bit to, uh, to be uh, slightly smooth, a little more, I don't want to say stylized, but a little simpler to print, and we made the inside solid. Uh, printed it on one of our FDM printers and then a lot of uh, hard work and effort into sanding. But really quite incredible to me that we can go and extract this kind of amazing data from CT scans um, for no cost. Really amazing. Lots of other things we're going to do with this. Uh, stay tuned for some of our, our new projects in medical modeling.